Hey everybody, welcome back to Root. Let's get back to the forest. Okie doke. So, we're starting the second round, and I've got a problem. I want to make these boots, these woodland runners, because then, if Jen and I meet up in the same place, she can give me a card from her hand, and I can give them to her, and we both benefit, because we both are working synergistically together to win this co-op game. Although, that might be something I don't even want to do in a competitive game, because you can have these temporary alliances with the Vagabond. So, ah... Am I going to do that? But you see, here's the problem. If I keep these, because remember, at the beginning of Birdsong, well, first of all, I'd have to draw a card if I don't have any, and now I must add at least one. I'm always building my decree. And if I don't put this in, I've got to put a mouse card in. And here's the problem. If I put it over here, I must recruit in a mouse village. I'm not in a mouse village. We'll go into turmoil. If I come over here, I have to move from a mouse village. I'm not in a mouse village. If I come over here, I have to battle in a mouse village. Now... That's not that bad, because, hey, I'm surrounded by mouse villages. There's one here, there's one over here, so I could move to a mouse village. But the problem is, I would have two battles. I would need to do two battles. And I can't unless I can move twice. And then finally, if I build. But that means I'd have to build twice. Ah, So, as much as it pains me, I'm go I, I want to build these for Jen, but it, i I got to do this. So, um, I think... Double recruiting or double moving? I think having two moves is going to help me spread out so that I could maybe do multiple fights elsewhere. So let's see if I can get this under this card, which is proving very difficult. One-handed. There we go. Okay. Thank you, Royal Vizier. And so now I have to do two moves. But, but, but again, they're from anywhere, so that's not a problem. But my decree is becoming more cumbersome. I could still add this. Now if I want to go crazy, now that I'm going to move twice, I could move somebody into a mouse village and somebody somewhere else. And then I could say every round I'll fight in a mouse village and somewhere else. And you know what? I mean, the game is all about being bold and taking chances like that. But on the flip side, I don't want to have my garment collapse, so I'm going to take it easy. Plus, I could craft this... It's not as good as crafting boots for Jen, but hey, she wouldn't mind some money. Although, unfortunately, I'd only get one point for it instead of three. I remember, I need two bunny villages. I've got one. If I head up here and build in this bunny village, I could craft these investments. So, okay, we'll do that. I won't program it. I'm, I'm going I'm to slow my roll a little bit. And so, that's it. I built my, um, my decree. And now, I can craft. I can't craft this yet. I'm holding on to it. i got to resolve. i got to... Um, Got to recruit in bunny villages, no problem. And now I have to do two separate moves. Let's go on ahead and have let's have two of these three guys move over here. I'll leave one to protect the village because if the cats were to move in here, then they would actually, and I didn't have anybody here, they would attack and just take my thing out. If I have a guy there, although what are the chances they're going to move there? Uh, let's just go on ahead and, and move in mass. And you know, if cats ever show up here, then I'll, I'll move back to protect it. Okay, so that's my first group move, and I've got to do a second one, because I've got two moves. Let's go on ahead and have three guys move over. See, do I want to move to Mousetown, or do I want to move to Foxville? I'll move to Mousetown in case I end up getting more, or in case I end up having to program this card. Then I'm in a Mousetown, so that'll help out. And I've still got two guys back home. I could move more. And, yeah, what the heck? Why, why, yeah, I mean, nobody's going to show up down here. Uh, for quite a while, so let's 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 move big. Let's let's uh so we, we can spread out even more. Okay, so I, I can move as many as I want. I just have that restriction of the uh, the ruling. I did rule here, and I still rule here. And so there we are. So I've done two different moves, and now I can do one fight wherever I want. Could take out this kitty, but I'm going to take out this kitty because here's the thing. Jen would like to rendezvous with me. And remember, for Jen to move into an area where there's a cat, she has to use two boots because she is now hostile to them. But if I take these guys out, she can move in more readily. So I'm going to fight there. Let's roll. All right, we get a two and a three. See, now that's a bit more scary. If there were two cats here, I'd lose two birds. But since there's only one cat, I lose one bird. And um, I could take out up to three cats, because I do have three guys, because I did it at the moment, because this is all simultaneous. But as it is, I take out the single cat, and this zone is clear. And unfortunately, I still don't gain points. Jen wouldn't have minded taking out that bur that cat, because she gets points for taking out hostiles, but she'd have to get in there first, and she didn't have the boots. So, that was that. I've cleared this area. I rule the roost, although I don't rule the roost, because I haven't built one yet. So hey, let's do my last bit of my decree and build another roost. And now I'm going to be making two points at the end of the round. And fortunately, there is a place to build. Um, and after the ruins are cleared out, we have that as well. Okay, 
So, I think that's it. Yes, I've done my decree. It is successfully run again, although it's going to continue getting bigger and more complex. And now in the evening, I get two points. Woohoo! One, two. I'm keeping up with the Joneses. And instead of drawing one card, I draw two. Nice. Alrighty. Oh! More boots! More boots! And I could build these right now because I'm in a bunny zone! I mean, two bunny zones! And another bunny! A command warrant. I could build this. At the start of daylight, I can initiate a battle. So, um, wow, I could do a battle before the decree. So if somebody had moved in on me, now, that's not going to be as good in this cooperative game because I'm not playing against smart players who might make moves against me um, you know, and would be scared off by the fact that I would you know, attack them before my decree actually runs. Um, so, I mean, this might still be something I use for programming. Who knows? But anyway, so I've drawn uh, two cards. I have to discard down to five. I'm done. It is Jen's turn. First of all, she with re refreshes three items. She'll definitely refresh her boots because she needs to move. And what are the other two? If she takes her two swords back and gets to a bunny village, she could expel bandits and complete a quest. But if she takes her torch back and comes over here, she could clear... I, I think she wants her torch back. So, clear one and one, one sword. Okay. So, she doesn't have her other sword, she, so she won't be able to do the quest this turn. Well, she could. She could do the uh, guard duty by using the torch and a sword. Um, but she'd like to... Well, okay, we'll worry about that in a second. So, first of all, she gets to refresh three. And if she had some um, some teapots, she would be able to refresh even more. But as it is now, she slips. And and remember, slipping means she could... This is the special thing. She can move back into the forest. She could move over here and then come. Uh, but she'll just come on over here into the forest. And now, she can start doing stuff. She'll use her boots to move again and just jump right into my neck of the woods. Hello! Nice to see ya. And now, so she uh, she either uses the torch and the sword to complete this quest to get some more cards. You know what? She has enough cards. She's going to have to discard if she gets so many cards. She will go on ahead and use the torch, not for her own special power, not for the quest she could do, but instead to search the nearby ruins. And, oh baby, she got some boots. Now, she at her maximum, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. She can hold up to 8 items, so she's doing okay. She just got those boots. She could move it, move it again. Nice. Okay. And she's got a single sword. She would need two boots to move over here to fight a cat. And then she could fight, but she doesn't have enough boots. So I think she's going to stop. All right. And I need to make her uh, a coffee pot so that she can refresh more things. Okay. And so, yeah, that's it. And now, uh, after an evening's rest, she draws one card. Although, no, she already has five cards, so she's going to have to discard. Ooh, she doesn't want... I mean, if she can, I would like her to give me this card if possible. Um, so she's got to discard something else. What the heck? Uh, do I want it? Yeah, I'll we'll get, get rid of the tax collector. She'll take that. And discards, down to five cards. And she, since she has the satchel, she doesn't have to discard any items. So that was it for her. A quick and easy turn. But next turn, I'll craft something. And since we're together, she'll be able to give it to me. But now, it's time for the mechanical cats. And they are doing stuff in Bunny Town. And it is a double. So, they battle anywhere where they can with their bunnies. But there's no place for them to battle. Uh, interestingly, if this had been a mouse, this little kitty would have tried to fight me and would, it would not have been pretty. But anyway, so there's no fighting to be done in any bunny zones. There's no cats over here. And uh, then, moving. If there, Remember, we have a big group over here, but this is a mouse zone. So again, if this had been a mouse card, two of these guys would have peeled off and moved um, according to this priority chart. And they would have joined up with others in one of these two directions. And then... Let's see, it would have been, oh, it would have been this. No, actually, um, if they can, when they move, they move to the enemy. So they would have come over here, and they wouldn't have grouped up, and therefore earned more points. Oh, whoops, speaking of points, by the way, I forget. The first thing they do is they get two points plus one extra. So, one, two, three, that's kind of scary. Okay, um... So then, uh, but they, they, since we drew a bunny, they don't have big groups in bunny zones, and now they're going to recruit. This says they um, place, uh, what is it, two warriors in each clearing that they rule. All right. So more cats are going to come out in, although actually I should say, when you're using the mechanical cats in a competitive game, and they're just there to kind of flesh out the game and add more stuff, they have to rule in the zone to be able to recruit. When you're playing competitively or cooperatively, they no longer have to rule. They will always recruit. So, um, right, bunny recruiting time. 
All righty. So, hello. Furthermore, hello. Hi there. Uh-oh, we've got some trouble. And, oh no, my roost. Oh dear. So, in the future, and I've left it undefended. In the future, if we draw another bunny card out of there, or a wild card, they will tack and take out my roost. Which means it'll cut down on the amount of points I'm earning. Oh no! Uh, it's, a, it's a river attack. And again, now, if playing competitively, they couldn't do it because they didn't rule here. But in the co-op game, they can just pop up like weeds all over the place. Which again, is not really consistent with how they work in a regular game. Uh, uh, in If somebody were controlling the cats, they have different types of buildings they can build. They can build uh, sawmills to make wood, and they can build recruiting stations to recruit only in specific places, and then they have to move around. But as it is, these guys are really simple. Two guys showed up over here. Let's see. So I did in that bunny zone and that bunny zone and that bunny zone. Are there only three bunny zones? I forget. Are there three of each? I think that's right. Oh yeah, and that right. So, oh no! This bunny zone over here. Suddenly we've got a problem, folks. Next round, they're going to get a point for this grouping, this grouping, and that grouping. They're making five points next round unless next round we spread out and start to break some of them up. So, getting scary. And that was it for them. They get another card added to their command list. And back to me and round number three. So I've got to set up one or two cards to do more actions. And it's interesting, with all these bunnies around, it might make sense for me to program one of these bunnies into a fight so I can do two fights. One in a bunny zone, and then say one over here in a mouse zone. Yeah. Yeah, I think I need to... All right, so am I going to do this command warn or visit to friends? Uh, I see. I, I'd still rather make. I'd like to make the next boots for Jen, so she can still move around. So I'm gonna program. Oh, wait, well, first of all, is my hand empty? No. Add cards. So we're gonna have two fights every round for the rest of the game, and one of them always has to be in Bunny Town. But seeing as how they just moved into Bunny Town, and see, do I want to? I could put another card in, and I could do some more recruiting, because I could still recruit here until this is. And so we'd have some more protection, or I could recruit over here in this Bunny Town. Or I can save it to build for Jen! Let's see, I could say I'm recruiting in Mouse Town, because I'm over here in Mouse Town. Mm. But I don't have a roost there yet. I have not built a roost, so I cannot recruit in that zone if I were to program this. I could say I'm always going to build. Nah, that's, that's way too dangerous. That's going to get way too top heavy. Do I just keep one? I'll just keep one. Maybe I should put this one out too, but I really want to build those for Jen. Because. Um, okay, we're done with my decree. Now we're crafting, and I am in. Um, I have two roosts in bunnies, so let's go on ahead and do this. I get one point. Hooray! And the last pair of boots. So Jen and I can work together again. All right, so that's gone. I don't keep it. And now I got to resolve my decree. Recruit in Bunny Town. Let's recruit over here and fight the kitty cats. Okay. And um, oh, maybe I should have got... All right, here we are. So now we have to do two moves. Uh, and they could be anywhere because, again, they're wild cards. Uh, let's go on ahead and move. <laughs> Remember I was saying, ah, we could just leave it undefended. Let's come back. Come on back. Okay. So that's good. Um, all I need is two. Because if I roll a two, then that means I can do two damage. But if I roll a three, then I can do three. But there's only two to take out. But, I mean, if they hit me, I want to keep some guys behind. And, you know, two to one, I'm feeling good about that. So that's one move, and then i got to make another move. I, I could, interestingly. I could make another move. Because, uh, okay, uh, we ruled here. Now we rule here. I could move over here. So we could start uh, getting ready to fight these guys off. Although, really, what I should do... I should move over here and fight this to stop him from scoring points. But unfortunately, I'd have to go one, two steps to make it there. Drat. Now, I could leave Jen behind and run over here and try to make a dent into those guys. But even if I did, I'd take out two. He's still going to score a point off of that zone. So I'm not going to stop that from happening. And I cannot travel along the river. The Otters, who are a faction that's in the expansion, can actually travel along the river. They're kind of a merchant class. I think they set up shops and stuff like that, but I can't do it. And there's no way I can reach these triple all the way down over here. <sighs> if Jen has two boots, she could do it, though. She could rush over here and fight. So she might have to do that on her turn. We'll see. Okay. So anyway, so what have I done? I've done one move and two moves. I've done all my moves. Now I have to do two fights, and one of them has to be in a bunny zone. 
I think it'll be, it could be this one, but I think it's going to be this one. All right. Um, so let's bring the pain. Show you cats what's what. All right. I rolled a three. I do three damage. They take out one of mine. I take out all of theirs. Okay. And again, I score no points for those fights. Ah! Uh, only the Vagabond does because they're hostile. Okay. So this area is clear. Easy peasy. And now we have to have a second fight. That was my first fight. And my second fight could be over here. Wait a minute. Didn't I move somebody over here? What did I do? Yeah, I did. Did I undo that? Oh, yeah. I, I moved this guy over here. So my second fight could be over here, or over here, or over here. Now, actually, one thing is, if Jen's here, she doesn't want me to take these guys out, because if she takes them out with her crossbow, she gets victory points. So, I think I'll take them out over here. Let's have a fight over there. Rolling. And I did two. They did nothing. Oh, yeah, baby. Bye-bye, kitty cat. Good night. Okay, so that was my two fights, and now I'm going to build in one place anywhere I want. I think I'm going to build in a mouse town. And I've bumped myself up to earning three points a turn. Noise, noise, noise. Okay, somehow I pulled off my decree yet again. Then, um, so now I score points. I get three points, and I draw two cards. Okay, one, two, three, and I draw two cards. And it is Jen's turn. And so I'm doing pretty good keeping up with the cats. Jen is really lagging behind. She needs to start doing quests or fighting or crafting or what have you. Um, oh, by the way, I totally forgot. Jen does have one more point because we did craft. No, have we? No, we haven't. This is the first time I, where she's actually going to be able to aid me, at which point she'll get a point for that. But anyway, so it's Jen's turn. And first of all, she refreshes three items. Arrgh. If she refreshes this, she could take out one of the guys. And she probably wants to be able to move. And does she get her torch back? Because then she could do a quest and take out one of those guys. <sighs> but here's the thing. If she gets that and that, she's got two boots. And Jen could slip into here, which um, it wouldn't cost her. And then if she has two boots, she can move into here and take out one of these guys and prevent the bad guy from um, scoring a point. But she would take a real beating and have a lot of her stuff damaged. Which means she'd probably have to take the next round off. So, is it worth doing that? Or should we just let them get another point and live with it? And Jen can stay here and fight these guys who she can probably take without too much trouble. Ugh. Let's see. If she... Alright, so we're still thinking about what she wants to untap. If she, she gives herself a second boot and the crossbow, then she can get in here, she could crossbow, and then there's two guys and she could fight them. And maybe they'd roll a zero, but they'd probably roll a two and make her damage two items. That would be super painful. Wow, that is a tough choice. I think we're just going to let them get one more point. So what does that mean? Does she, she'll still take the crossbow, but does she take a boot, or does she take her second sword, or does she take her precious, precious torch? She'll take her precious torch. Okay, so she has uh, done that, and now she could slip. But she's not going to do it. She's going to waste her slip and stay here and fight. Okay, so now um, she will strike. Boom, take one of these guys out, and that scores her a point. Okay, and um, okay, boom, she's not going to move. She's standing still. She's doing that to trigger an aid action, which means she will take these boots from me. And now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. She's maxed out on her items. She takes those boots and she gives me something. And because she has made an alliance with me and she's gotten friendly, she gets another point. And what is she going to give me? She'll give me the bird card because I want to program with bird cards, please. Okay. Or does she give me... Does she give me this so that I can make her tea so she can untap stuff faster? Will I be able to make this? Um, yes, because I do... Yeah. So she gives me that. And I'm like, I don't want that. And she's like, I need you to craft this for me because I can totally craft it. Okay, all right, so she'll go with that. And so we've done our little um, dance. And now, so she could still move. She's got a sword and a thing. She could do a quest, or she could take out the last cat in the area that we're in. She could use that sword, but she'd have to roll the die. She'd rather not. So she is going to use this and this, not to fight the kitty with us, but instead to go on guard duty in a bunny zone, which either gets her a point, or it gets her two cards. She has enough cards... 
So she's going to take a point, and she is catching up. And now, as she completes more bunny quests, they will start to compound with each other. Um, so she's just going to stay here and keep on. She's done guard duty. She's going to get rid of some bandits. She's going to do some errands. That's going to work out pretty well for her to catch up. And since we're together, I'm going to be able to make her another item, etc., etc. So that was pretty good. She could still move. She's going to keep that. And um, finally, uh, at the end of the day... So, she's not in the force, she's not going to repair, she just draws one card, and I think, one, two, three, four, five, she's over her hand limit, she's got to get rid of something. Uh, she will get rid of this, because she's already given me one that I can craft, she doesn't need another one. Alrighty, and um, she doesn't have to discard items, because this is still good. If this had been damaged, then she'd be in trouble. Okay, so, that was it. Time for the kitty cats. Once again, first of all, this is their big one. They score two points, because they're up against two players. And three, four, five. Boom, boom, boom. We've got to slow them down. But let's see what they've got up their sleeve. Okay, they're going to activate foxes. This is pretty good. Oh, this is great. Because we are not in fox zones. I didn't have to rush back here to save. But anyway, who knew? So, um, they would like to fight in fox zones. They're, they are, there's nobody for them to fight in a fox zone. They would like to move out of fox zones. Is Nope, they've got... No, this is the only place. It's a mouse zone. These guys are not going to move until he draws a mouse card. They would like to recruit a single guy in every fox zone. So, boom. Boom. There are four of them. Boom. And boom. All right, so this guy's a little outnumbered, but we'll worry about that later. So that was actually fairly painless in the grand scheme of things. I'm pretty happy about that. They get another card added to the end of their queue. And the interesting thing is, I was talking right up front about how the expansion, if you want to play with this, it comes with this board, if you're trying to use the Mechanical Cats, and it comes with four spy cards. I haven't drawn any yet, but if I have a spy card, I can use it to take a looky-loo at one of their cards and potentially reorder them. So we have some modicum of control of when they're going to attack in a bad place. Or, you know, we can, you know, etc., etc. But anyway, so that was it for them. Back to me. It's Birdsong, baby. Okay. Um... Let's see, I, uh, my hand is not empty. I have to continue building my decree. Hmm. And, I, 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 yeah, I, I, let's see. I would like to craft some brutal tactics, although I can't. I don't, I'm not in two fox zones. So, uh, imbalance attacker may deal an extra hit, but defender scores one point. Ooh, I wouldn't want to do that anyway. Um, so, where am I going to put this? I'm going to program something. Uh, do I think I can get to where I'm building two things per turn? Or should I just be recruiting like crazy? Or should I do more moves? <sighs> I'm keeping my decree under control. I'd really like to... Okay, I've got to slow them down. I feel like I've got to move over here. You know, make, I, I rule here so I'd be able to move out. And um, so I'd like to move some more guys there. So I think I want to... I'm going to want to do more recruiting. So let's, uh, let's update my recruiting ability. All right. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, wait. Yeah, because I can fight in two places because I'm going to be able to fight over here where I'm planning to move, and I'll still fight over here because I must do two fights. Although, wait! One of the fights must be in a bunny zone. This is not a bunny zone. This is not a bunny zone. So I have to stay here and fight this cat. <sighs> hmm... And I don't want to move in here and have them be the aggressor because then they get the high number and I get the low number. Shoot, 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 shoot. But I still, it wouldn't be bad to recruit. I'm, I'm going to go with this anyway. But do I add something else? Because I could put a mouse in a fight zone and then that means I'd have to do three fights. I'd have to do a fight here and a fight here and a fight there. They'd be, I'd be very, very weak on all these fights. I don't like it. I don't want my whole government to collapse. Things are going okay. I'm just going to keep these in my hand. <laughs> okay. So, uh, that's it for decreeing. And now, crafting. What was I going to craft? I think I was going to craft... Let's see, I'm in two bunny zones, right? So I could do an investment. Or I could do the T. She really wants the T. All right, because I am in a mouse zone? Yes, I am. I'm going to craft this. Unfortunately, it only gives me one point because we're too proud to say we're common trade folk. And so... It's a kettle of tea that Jen would like to get from me so she can untap her stuff faster. Nice. Uh, um, right. Do I want to craft anything else? I could craft more things. I could get this crafted because I am in two bunny zones. It's only one point instead of three, but what the heck. Let's do it. Let's craft this as well and get another point. Boom. Sweet. And I could craft this. The gently used... I'm just crafting. I'm a crafting fool. And I got another point. 
And you can imagine how great that would have been if I'd been any other race. Or if instead of being the commander... Oh my gosh, I totally forgot I'd been the commander this whole time! I totally forgot! I deal an extra point of damage in every fight. So this guy's gone. I'm sure I killed him a while ago. As for always, folks, this is why you got to watch with the Klingon subtitles turned on, because I'm sure Paulo made a note of that. So maybe those fights have been better off for me. Maybe I would be safer moving in here. I do have a problem, though. Because this guy's dead, i got to get to a bunny zone to have a fight. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, gosh. Osh, gosh, but gosh. How do I do that? Let's see. I, I get to do two moves. So... If I move here, I'd still rule, and then I can move run over there. But I'm, I'm, I need this guy to stay here to fight. Oh, man. I, I see. Moving over there and there, I'd have to move two guys and then go again, because I could, I could skip over them to come over there. That wouldn't be bad, but that's both of my moves. But that's okay, because this guy can fight by himself. And remember, he does an extra point of damage, because I totally forgot about my commander. Yes. Okay. Change of plans. I totally forgot all about that. Okay. So we're still fine. Um, right. Right. I've done a bunch of crafting, made a bunch of points, got a whole bunch of stuff that Jen could aid me with um, to give me more cards. And it could actually, if she does two aids in a given turn to get two items in a single turn, she'll score two points off of that and will be almost allied, at which point she can move with me. I, I could move her around to get around her hostility limitation. Oh man, that'd be so awesome. And I've got all the stuff she needs. But anyway, it's time to run the decree. I need to recruit twice. Okay, I need to recruit anywhere. I'll recruit over here. No, I can't because I don't have a roost. I'll recruit. I have to recruit in a bunny zone. And I got to recruit someplace else. And I have to do two moves. And, right. So, let's just, let's, um, let's recruit over here. Let's recruit over here. Okay. So, if, uh, if the cats feel like they want to fight in a fox zone... Well, I'll end up taking them out. Okay, so I've done two recruitings. That was my wild card. That was that. Now I have to do two moves. I'm going to do a move. And then I'm going to do a move. Boom. All right, let's, let's, let's fight. Okay, I need to do a fight in a bunny zone and a wild card zone. Let's fight over here. Remembering, I have a commander, so I do an extra damage. All righty. Two versus two. Ouch. But for it's three versus two. I take out all three of them. They take out two of me. And I rule this roost, baby. And they will not be scoring any points off of that. Nice, nice, nice. That was my first fight. I must do a second fight, which could be here or here. Let's go down here. Let's uh, let's get that under control. All right. Oh, my gosh. Three plus one is four versus zero. A total routing. Good night, pussycat. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, that's what's new, pussycat. All right. Sorry. Wow. That was awesome. Okay. Oh, wait, oh no, but I didn't die. I didn't die. Sweet! We are keeping the cats at bay. We might pull this off, folks. And now I have to build somewhere, and it could be any place. Let's build my fourth roost. Um, down here, up there, what the heck. Let's build in the back. All right, and so now I can start recruiting over here and move in. Okay, so that was that. And at the end of the day, I still only draw two cards, and I make four points. One, two, three, four. Noise! Okay, Jen's turn. Here's the only problem. I left her behind. Okay, first of all, she can refresh three items. Does she stay here and do quests? Or does she slip into the forest and come out here to follow me so we can keep on interacting? Because for her to do it, she would have to be able to give me bird cards. Cause, or I'm sorry, bunny cards or bird cards, because it would be uh, that area. I think I might have mixed that up. Um, when she gave me... No, she get, she didn't give me... Well, she gave me wild cards, but she has to give me a card that matches the area we're meeting in. So she could come over here and take some of these, but here's the problem. Oh, she could take the bag so she could hold more stuff. Yes. Okay, Jen is going to... And it's still a bunny zone. She could still do her quests up there. She'll just follow me through the forest. Because she would have to use two boots to move over here or over here, but she can just slip into the forest. So what is she going to do? She needs one boot to get to me. She... Um... She needs two swords to do a quest in a bunny zone. There we go. Easy peasy. Okie doke. So, that's it. She's untapped her three stuff. And um, now she'll slip. She'll just slip into the forest. No one can see her. Hooray! And now, she'll start doing actions. She'll move again to join me and my one lonely uh, bird. And now, she could do the quest, which would score her two points, because it would be her second bunny. 
or she could aid me twice. She'll aid me twice. She'll tap this, which is still usable. I think this only stops being used if she perfectly moves it away or if it gets damaged. Even though it's tapped, it still serves its function. I could be wrong about that. Check the Cleon subtitles, and she'll tap one sword to basically aid me twice, um, which means she will pull a bag, which means now she can hold two more things, and she'll pull a... Um, so now she's re um, refreshing five things every round. Nice. And because she did two in a row, she's increased her alliance with me, which gives her two more points. And um, she, oh, she has to give me cards. She'll give me a wild card, and she has to, oh, she'll give me another wild card. Boom. If she didn't have that, that would have been trouble because she has to give me cards that match where we are. That was some awesome synergy. So what does she still have? Uh, she's still got a sword. That's not going to help. So I think she's done. That was very, very nice. Okay, and now, Evening's Rest, draw one card, because uh, she doesn't have any money. And, all right, so Fox card, discard. She can hold 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Perfect. And uh, she is done. Let's see what the kitty cats have in store for us. All right, they finally... Finally, they're going to move this troop out of Mouseville. Okay, first of all, they want to fight. There's no place for them to fight. The, the only place they could fight is over here, but it's a fox, so they're not going to move. Fight, now they're going to move. They've got too many mice. They're going to move over here, and they're moving on us. Um, and fortunately, they move after the battle, so they're not going to fight us. We get first dibs on fighting them. And let's see, is there anybody else who needs to move? Nope, that was it. And so now they're going to recruit. It's recruiting uh, single guys into every bunny zone. So, one, two, three, four. And remember, it normally be... All right, so... Oh, man, they are, they're coming for us. Two, three... Oh, no, my roost! And four. Okay, so they've recruited. It was only a single. And um, that's it. Oh, wait, oh! Can't forget the very important thing. Um, they, at the beginning of their turn, kind of cheating if we don't do this, they get two points plus three. They hadn't done that yet. Four. So they get four points. One, two, three, four. We're keeping up, but Jen's really got to... Jen's got to start fighting these guys to start getting points or completing your quest. But, I mean, these will really compound. Oh, by the way, she completed a quest. She should have another quest. It was a fox quest. Logistics help in a fox clearing. Okay, totally forgot about that. Right. So, that was that round. We're on to the next round. And once again, I but fortunately, Jen handed me some cards because I would hate having to put fox cards because I wasn't really planning on doing fox-related stuff. Um... Because i got to continue upgrading. But you can see why I just want to do a slow upgrade. Is there anything else? I think I'm done building stuff for her. Yeah, I mean, I can't. Um, I Right. You know, unless I get a crossbow or a hammer or something like that, I can't. So, I'll probably just go on ahead and upgrade with this thing. Um, because I wouldn't mind having some armorers. Um, I need to have I need to have a, a roost in a fox zone, which I yes I which I do. So I could craft this and in battle may discard this to ignore all rolled hits. That could be huge. So I'm going to craft this. I'm going to program this. And I want three fights, three recruitments, three moves, or two builds. I got to put one of these in, and then I got to run the program again, and then I'm going to craft some armor, and um, so on. But you know what, folks? I'm going to stop right there, because you have now seen... We're about halfway through this game. Things are going pretty well. Um, in all honesty, mostly because the cats have been very kind. They have not been drawing good cards. You know, th some of the stuff they can draw can really wipe you out. But we've been pretty lucky. Um, we're working well as a team, and you should have a good idea of what Root feels like, even with the goofs here and there. And now if you want to hear some final thoughts, hit that eye in the top right corner of the screen. Follow those show notes in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.